Well, hello there, all you awesome gamers. Uh, last night I tried to record this uh, Cluck and Bell uh, latest update in GTA Online, and of course, uh, GTA was in windowed mode, and then OBS Studio did not pick it up. So I was recording a whole bunch of words and uh, did not go back to double check. <laughs> well, Clearly, I could not uh, un update it for you now. So, we're going to do it today. We'll play the Cluck and Bell mission. Obviously, we're not going to be able to start the intro again, which is pretty sad. But I don't think we miss too much. When you start the intro, you'll get all of that. And here we go. So, guys, I'm going to try again. And I'm going to hope you're going to enjoy the latest update of... Uh, GTA Online. So let's have a look. Let's start with the slush fund. Baby J, bony niggas spraying case. Ruger with the pork face. Jewish for the court case. Oh, let's go confirm settings. The let's get Cold in Jane. there. Yes, I am sure. Like it's nothing, cause it's nothing. Please, please don't check me for that. Okay, so obviously the first time you start the mission, you will first have a introduction. So obviously, uh, sorry, let me just quickly, I need to stop that before I get a, a copyright uh, slam on the video because of music. Um, but yeah, so obviously you'll have that introduction with Vincent. So he's going to keep interrupting the chat a lot throughout the mission, so my apologies. Um, when you load in, last night when I was loading in, I got to start the first so, A on the, on the map. Okay, I hope he's going to shut his freaking trap for a bit. Alright, so I put in a marker. So a waypoint on that one. Because last night when I was playing this, as soon as you finished A, B disappeared. And I found myself driving around looking for the place. Because I did not, uh, you know, you just have a basic idea of where it is. Not an exact location. So just take note of that. Um, what am I doing? Talking too much. Let's play the game. But yeah, just have a look at that. You lost, no, you I'm not. Okay, we got that going. They do have a car coming. Where is it gonna come through? At the top. No, you don't. Where are you guys? Yeah, 
are they trying to come in from? This hack on. Dumbass. All right, let's get in. Get ourselves a close quarters gun. All right, I am sure nothing's going to change. No, dude, there's another one coming in. Come, boys, come on. See, there he goes. Try and pull a sneaky. Alright, let's gather some cash here. There we go. Make sure you look after exhibit A. Let's get some of the goodies for some ammo and extra cash yeah no 12 12 dollars it's not much 32 dollars not much <laughs> but in gta every little bit helps everything that you buy is so initially expensive so whatever you can get it's good to go right so we've collected the cash here um let's exit two guys waiting on the outside Yeah, they almost got me yesterday. So I'm gonna go back up. I'll tell you why. One day I'll just hope that car's still still around. No, nope, she's gone. That's a pity. I would have liked to take the bullet instead of this thing. Yeah, these guys are adamant, eh? They don't stop. Let me tell you. As you can see, they'll they just keep coming. <laughs> Okay, so I see it is a it is a glitch on on this mission. So again today, uh, so if you have a look here on the map, let me just stop quickly. Take care of these guys. Still there. Okay, so just have a look on the map. If you don't put a waypoint on that, the B money laundering, it disappears. So then you drive around here looking for where they are. So just keep that in mind. Um, it's a good one to know because that's what happened to me last night. And I drove around there for quite a bit before I got shot at and <laughs> knew where they were. All right, let's keep going. Let's get there. You can of course use your own car, but hey, I'm gonna play with what they've given me. And Vincent's got a five. Vincent's got a very, very, very cool cop car now. Which you will see is revealed at the end of this, of all, all of the setup missions on the last one, on the final mission. They reveal the new cop cars. Just like the last time. But don't get overconfident. They might have tightened security since our last incursion. So I'm gonna just do exactly this. Because these guys are hiding. Uh, so all of them are hiding like this. And yeah, last night I had a close to kicking my butt I just want to wait for this one to come around the corner it's gonna take a while it seems extremely tough bugger that's the one I wanted to wait for okay let's carry on where are you there he is Gotcha. Let's get behind you. Is he gonna come around the truck? Yeah, I see his feet there. Got you down. There's another guy here. 
Okay. Nice. Let's get in here. Right, so we got a double room. Let's see where they're at. I'm gonna give it. Comes number three. There's some more cash in here. That's right. This is the cash that we need to actually set up for the rest of the mission. So we are busy loading up on some very needed money to do the actual sure infiltration at the Cluck and Bell. Grab some cash here. So almost done. I think there's another one. There we go. Nice. I was so bummed yesterday when I looked at that video and there was nothing on the screen, just black and just me talking to nothing that was horrible man and I just knew damn I just missed my opportunity to show you right from scratch the very first playthrough but hey it is, it is what it is at least I can show you again got a bit of know-how of what's happening so uh, yeah it's not what I wanted I would have preferred to do it first playthrough with you guys always more fun that way but hey let's take this to the locker and these guys are adamant hey eh? these vehicles that keep coming all right let's get going going good leave me alone I think it's time maybe we get ourselves a better car. Because this one is just a little bit too slow. Alright. That's a bit better. That definitely gives us a bit more speed. Oh, come on! <laughs> what a crash. Yeah, I saw that coming. Yeah, here comes another one. Wants to die. Come, Lady Jane. Everybody's turning in front of everybody. Man, I love this game. Like this, the the racing, the car, the car chases. It's just amazing. I mean, for a for a game that's literally like almost 13 years old, this it's still going strong, and it still captures attention, man. And I mean, you must think that the online map hasn't changed that much. Um, Not that a city changes that much in any case, you know, from time to time. But I mean, this is a game, so I suppose timelines are much faster, but the, the map for the last 14 years has been the map that we've got. The map then is the map we've got now. I'm sure they've done a few updates on graphics and so on, but everything else is still in place. And you know what? We're all playing this game still every day. So it's got to have something. I'll tell you what, it's the cars for me. I don't, I'm not particularly fond of all the modders that's in online playing in God mode. They kind of screw up the online version of the game a little bit. 
but nah, it's all good. Come on, GTA, don't let us hang. Put us back in the lobby, man. Come on. You can do it. <laughs> Anybody that's played GTA before knows this feeling. When you sit in anticipation, hoping that you're not going to have the ever freaking loading black screen. <laughs> there we go, at least. Right, so we're back in the lobby. I think what I want to do is just... Uh, let's just get a car that can actually get us places. Um, I'm not sure whether my car was destroyed in the last the last play overhead. We'll see Bars quickly. Mutual. How can I be of service? So there's one in the arcade. I don't think that was it, but we'll see. I'll look into it. All right, then. Let's see what vehicle it was. Uh, request personal vehicle. Which one was it? Oh, it's my Thrax. Love these cars, man. They might not be very fast, but I tell you what, if you ram somebody with this, this car... Hey, it's me. That was a lucrative effort. This is a solid fund to use on the rest of our planning efforts. The first leg of which I'll get to work on right now. I'll be in touch. So yeah, the Thrax, man, it's a ramming car. You ram into somebody with this, they are bound to go flying. That's that's for sure. Uh, it's not the fastest car in the lobby, but damn, it's a freaking staunch car. Um, there is another one that also has a similar ramming capability. It's one of the older older cars. I can't remember the name right now. I haven't driven that for ages as well. Um, let's get driving. What are they? The highest value damage. 871 thousand dollars of damage well that's pretty doable considering that when there's modders in the lobby you've got like a you literally have like a four five million dollar freaking damage all right so let's see we got the cash so the next Setup mission is breaking and entering. So we've got to go and get some tools. Tools for the job. Does it look like it's loading me back into the lobby again? By the sounds of it, at the thing. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, let's get the super heavy armor. Confirm those settings. Let's play it. Yes, I'm good. Breaking and entering. All right, so coordinates coming your way. Thanks, buddy. All right, so in this one, okay, easy missions. So go do what you do. We need a laptop with up to date info on the cartel's operations and a new hacking device after our friend the tech genius with the terabyte deactivated the last one. Oh, and of course, we'll need another train. Share a goal, but I'm fully aware we do not share a motivation. 
I made sure sufficient funds are allocated to recompense you for your efforts today. Thanks, Vince. Nice of you, man. Much, much appreciated. A little bit of cash in the bank always goes a long way. Right, so this one at least I know the terabyte uh, icon does not disappear off the map. Uh, well, hopefully. But it didn't last night, so it shouldn't do that now. But yeah, these are... Uh, they, they were... So we just gotta search for this this chap. Okay, he did send an image of what the guy looks like. So this little man with his huh? So he's changed from what I saw last night. Last night I got him here by the games. Let's just quickly see, was he a blonde dude? No, he had brownie. Is it this guy? I think it might be him. I think that's the laptop. If you are any... You got the laptop? Yeah, so they did. So like I said, that's a, it's a bit of a wiener mission, you just grab the laptop from the poor dude. And I mean, if he gives you too much trouble, you just kick his butt. Not, not, not very challenging. Uh, that one was a bit disappointing to me, they could have really made that a little bit more, more of a challenge. Um, this one was better, the next one, that, uh, yeah. It's okay, we're gonna shoot some drones out the sky. But I enjoy it more when they put in, you know, more more of the armed forces type of thing and NPCs that actually has a brain and can think and all of that. So the last time it was up here, let's just see if they've actually changed the location. Yeah, so the location has definitely changed. Which is good, I think that keeps it interesting if you do another playthrough. Um, let's see, man, what the heck is wrong with this car? Like there's no control. Uh, let's see, this is such a pain in the butt. A search for aerial drones, they say. Okay, so the oak is not in here. Is there any other place I'm thinking they can be? Is at the back here, maybe. In here. It's not there. Get out my way, man. It's not through there. In here. Alright, the only other place I can think of is... What about the back of... This... Fucking hell, where did this guy... Where did he park? Is he up... On top of the... Highway? Can't be. Looking for the drones? I don't see any drones. Uh, 
Let's go up here and just see if we can look from the top down. Maybe we can spot the drones. There, I found the other one. Easy. I don't see any drones. How far? It's only to that road there. There he is. There he is, he's in there. Okay. No problem. We got you, buddy. So what we'll do is we'll access it. Is access him from this side. And I can hear the drones already. I don't have any freaking ammo for this. That's a pity. Um, we got some ammo for that. Shall we shoot them out the sky with a with a rocket? Bang! Bang! How many more are you gonna send my way? Another one? Alright. Okay, so what are we looking for? We are looking for this little hacking device. compound yeah oh, this was quite a nice mission guys you're gonna enjoy this one so now we gotta to go to the compound to find keys and the keys that we're going to use you're gonna love this man <laughs> you're seriously gonna love this let's get there We'll take a bit of a shortcut through here. That train is not coming our way. Yeah, you got to be careful because these oaks, they are up on top as well. And yeah, they pin you down like terribly and they hide behind the cars. Which is not always very nice of them. <laughs> They're gonna chase you down, bro. Like I said. Okay, that was a bit silly. I shouldn't just stayed in the car. You get out the car, I have some good fighting though. Come on, I don't wanna I don't wanna lose all my lives and have to start all over again. That will not be pleasant. Can we get through here?
Sheesh. Okay, I'm sure yourself. Tough these guys, man. Show yourself. Where is he? I was literally about to shoot me and now he's gone. I'm not gonna wait for you. Like I said, upstairs, downstairs, behind vehicles. There's another one there. There he is. There he is. <laughs> Freaking running like a little bookie. Yeah, he's just got to take care of that guy. Team to come and shoot me in the back. Gotcha. Right, let's pick up this key. Seriously, so where's the train key? Check out this. <laughs> Isn't this cool? We always get to ride on the back of the train, but you never get to steer it. This is like being an indestructible torpedo. Check. <laughs> ah, that's fun. They seriously think they can they can do this. Check. <laughs> cool, bye. So they come with helicopters. Check this foolishness. Bang. <laughs> and the train just keeps going, man. It does, just does not take any damage. A hunk of steel. Fucking. 
Now there's nothing in front that causes any troubles. <laughs> I think there's it. All clear. I'll arrange for the train to be stored unsuspiciously until the raid. Yeah, there we go. That was fun, man. I, that that mission is one of my favorites. Um, I must say, getting the laptop and doing the terabyte um, to get the compound there. That wasn't so good. But just this mission around the train itself, uh, it's some good good stuff going right there. Right, GTA, there it is back in the lobby. Do not disappoint. Here we go. It's good enough for me. I remember they placed you so far out. Ah, that's freaking horrible. Alright, so sorry for this guys, but you're gonna have to just sit back and enjoy the ride. I have to just remove the music so sorry for that it is going to be a nice and quiet trip back to okay progress update the train you acquired has been discreetly relocated into storage where it will remain until the day of the raid things are coming together next on the to-do list acquiring weapons and gear or the getaway vehicle your choice Yep, yep. We'll do the weapons. What? What? No, man. Stupid. Come and interrupt my midnight driving. Jeesh. Right, so the mission launches every time from the same spot, so we've got to go all the way um, back to the police department where Vincent actually met up with us. No, there we go. Almost there. But if you're watching this video and you've never played GTA at all, um, man, I highly, I highly recommend that you just give it a bash. Tell you what, my son introduced me to GTA Online, actually to the whole GTA genre, and wow, I've actually now outlived him on GTA. He's moved on to some other games, and yeah, I'm. Still Still getting myself caught up on GTA missions like this one. <laughs> oh, that was quite fast. Nice one. Let's just get all our ammo back together. Let's put in some armor. Right, confirm the settings. Let's get into it. Yes, I'm sure. Let's do it. Okay, so if what's nice about this. Weapons, armor, and masks. 
decide who the lucky criminals are today. All we need is one cache of weapons and one stash of gear. You know what we need. Weapons, masks, and armor that can't be traced to us. Decide who you want to hit. Right, so we've got target A, which is hoodlums. Target B, which is a bit more sophisticated. And then target C, which is the military, military-like. So I kind of like the idea of having that military vehicle. Um, but what weapons are they going to supply? The last time, sadly, I took the, the gear from the woodlands. They weren't too great because I didn't know that you need to... Well, I wasn't listening, so... <laughs> I think for this one, let's try C for a change. Let's just first see how far away they are. I think that was one of the biggest determining factors for me is how far I had to travel. Yeah, that's fairly evenly spread. That one's going to be faster because it's just straight highway. And I think it might be a bit fun to go and attack the military, you know. So let's get out of this. So let's go C. At C. <laughs> so you can do all three. Um, and it will keep all, all three of the weapons and the stashes for you. Um... But of course now for the video, just for the sake of longevity, we want to keep it short. So we're just going to take one and we'll use their gear and, and the weapons that comes from them. In a lot of these missions you can't just, well I suppose if you come in there with a Gatling gun or something like that with your minigun, you just shoot everything up or just blow everything up. You can just waltz in there and just go. Hey. But I think... Yeah, there's a bit of nuance on that. I like, I, I like playing more... More realistically, like I'm a little G.I. Joe that's gonna... Worm my way in there and stealth and snipe and shoot and hide and bob and weave so all of those factors just makes it more fun in my honest opinion um, but yeah I mean whichever way I mean if your mission is to just get in there and just demolish everything so you can get the mission done as fast as possible because you want to get some cash hey each to his own so let's see what we can see first. So let's just stop here from in the background. Alright. So I know. What? Just there's a lot of people here. So one day. One day, one day. Be there. Uh, so that one is the closest to me right now. So I'm going to see. Ugh, we're going to have to do it with this gun, but it's so silly because this marksman rifle. You got to really hit a full headshot to get the one shot kill. Come on. No, no. Ah, oh, that was silly. That guy, is he still up there? Difficult. They will be understandably furious. I advise you to not reduce your speed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're not going to be happy with what I just did. That's for sure. So let's see what we can pick up from these guys. So there's another one. 
Hey, uh, they know I'm here. So, let me get rid of that guy first. Are they gonna make me run and pick it up? Just need to get rid of this guy first. Where are you? Ah, oh, there's a few of them. And where is... Where is this weapon stash that I'm supposed to pick up? in gear. I seriously can't see the weapons in gear. No! They is it in the vehicle? Is it? You've been trying to freaking shoot me in the back the whole time. Oh, here it is. You're making commendable progress. Once we grab weapons and gear, we'll have everything we need. Get him! Okay, so we just need to get the gear. For the life of me, where am I missing? It's definitely not... Weapons. So is it gonna be in a duffel bag? I mean, it says it should be here. Is it in this box? Nothing. Nothing in here. This crate. Here we go. That's just silly, man. These targets should have an ample supply of weapons and gear. Once you're satisfied, I strongly advise that you move everything to the lockup. Goodbye, ladies and gentlemen. We need at least one set of equipment. But you don't have to stop there. If you want to pay each target a visit, be my guest. Whatever you grab. That was a rookie mistake. I wanted to just get over engagement of freaking what rocks everywhere. What kind? Come on, Drex. The hell is wrong with you? Finally, freaking hell. Sorry, bye. Let's get some guns out. Because I think they're going to keep doing this the whole time. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Sorry, goodbye. Yeah, you're on the wrong side, mate. Yeah, we're going up. We're going through. There it is. Nice. They're not coming for us yet. Is there another one going to make an appearance? Nope. 
so good. Nice. Yes, it is. There we go. Nice. Text weapons, military Got it. Gear, military. Got it. I'm happy with your match. I appreciate your professionalism. There we go. I'm happy with that. Right, load us back. Right, so now we just know you need to go and get the getaway vehicle. Um, then we're gonna screw up the delivery mission so that they don't have enough weapons and stuff to fight with us. And then it's the final, the final mission. So all in all, the update's not too bad. I'm quite enjoying it. It's probably better than the the acid lab update was i wasn't too too happy with that one wasn't my favorite i must be honest um i don't know why they wanted to try and go the whole looney tunes route but you know i suppose you need to keep the game fresh and happy and cater to a load of different people so in that respect i suppose we can't complain but yeah this wasn't my favorite my favorite update or DLC mission. Okay, so back in the lobby. I must say, I'm quite impressed that we haven't been blown up or sidewinded or we can put in a cage or anything like that so far <laughs> by any, any modders. That's much usually what happens. So yeah, I'm not in a private session. I'm in a public session uh, where I love playing. Good job. Now that you've secured all the weapons and gear necessary to take on a clucking bell factory overrun by the cartel, we should discuss your means of escape. Yeah, I enjoy playing the game with the rest of the GTA players that are trying to make it fun and enjoyable I mean you're always going to get these dumbass modders in their god mode that wants to come against you and you know, especially if you're playing like a an open session mission uh, you know just like a CEO job um, and I mean, it's fun. The guys come against you. I mean, you put yourself out there to say, hey, come and shoot me. Um, and it's all part of the game. But then at least give me the option to shoot you as well. So these modders will come at you in God mode. And I mean, there's bugger all you can do. You're just going to, you're going to lose, which really sucks. So yeah, as you can hear, I'm not a big fan of the modders, man. I don't even mind the modders so much. They can play modders, but why do you want to go and play your mod on other players? Can you really not play play the game? I mean, is your aim that terrible that you get shot? So then don't get into 1v1s, run away. Um, just say, dude, I'm bad, I can't do 1v1. And, Go away. Why do you have to get into God mode and then make us and then call anybody else that, that you fight against noobs? <laughs> you know? It's freaking stupid. Alright. Expect increased security. Okay, you remember how this works. 
your choice as to who you want to steal a getaway car from. Godspeed. Right, that I didn't like. So these guys at Target B, they have the Ocelot. I really enjoyed that car. Okay, it's your choice on which gang you want to thoroughly inconvenience in exchange for another getaway car. So Target C, I mean the fact that they've got the Scogger Bob. I don't want to get away in a cargo bob. That's so freaking boring. I would rather get in an ocelot and race my ass off and dodge people and whatnot. I mean, that you're going to be a sitting duck uh, with helicopters coming after you and shooting at you and you're pretty much impervious to most bullets for a long time if you just keep uh, turning away from, from the helicopter. So... It, as a getaway, not that exciting for me. I don't know if it's going to be any of those military vehicles, but it seems like it's going to be the cargo bob as a getaway car. So I'm skipping that one. I'm going to go for B again. I, I really enjoyed that Ocelot. Uh, awesome car to just freaking rev out and race. <laughs> so there we go. On to B. To get our getaway car. That um, pretty. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, this is fun, guys. I mean, come on. If these folks keep putting out these missions, then hey, we can keep playing GTA online. I just wonder what they're going to do with GTA Online once they've released GTA 6 eventually sometime next year, hopefully, maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Um, but if and when they do, I'm just wondering what's what's going to happen to GTA Online. Are we going to now, is the map going to move over to, to the GTA 6 map and the online version of the game is just going to be imprinted on that? I wonder if anybody knows. Let's hear it. What's your what's your thoughts on that? Or are they just gonna keep GTA online going? Expect some moderate security measures here. Um This group won't be messing around. The vehicle will be in a secured area. Locate it and get it out of there using whatever means necessary. Okay, I don't see... Hold on, hold on, hold on. It was this side. I don't know why I always want to go into the... So I'm going to just do this. No kidding. <laughs> I just shot the guy, sir. Gotta get rid of this. That was some good shooting. Alright, so that's down. Okay, so that is a very heavy... Oh uh, yeah, I remember these guys. They managed to freaking kill me yesterday. Not today. Today I'm freaking aware of what you're doing. Come and take me from behind. Uh, this LP pistol is quite, it's quite staunch. I must say, it's quite a nice, it's quite a nice weapon. Oh, wait a minute, there's, there's some more coming. Let's just get out the way. Gotcha. So what are you guys going to do? You're sitting in vehicles. Let's take this. I can't believe I didn't actually reload my sniper rifle. That was silly. Let's get up here and see if we can just do a 
quick. Nice. Okay, so there's one more, but I'm going to get in here. This guy needs to move. Like so. Get it on this one. I mean, look at that car. That is so sexy, man. Let's grab it. Let's get going. Wow. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I'm shooting my car, man. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, this looks good. I like the mission. <laughs> How many of them are there? What? Look at them standing there on the bridge. Come boys. I've got this revenge thing freaking going down now. Come boys. There we go. Take that. Now, yeah, this is getting stored at Cluckenbell. Limit the vehicle to the garage. Nice. What? Yeah, I'm looking behind me, so they freaking pin me the bastards. So where are they? Just disappeared. Here they come. Just get going. Yeah, that was a solid ambush. Both cars freaking pinned me on the side, plus the one from the back. We're not doing that again. Jeez. <laughs> go, boy, go. Yeah, tactical SMG, that thing is so silly. You shoot and shoot and shoot and nobody dies. Alright, so they're gonna give me one more. Grouping, yeah, there they come. That's gonna slow them down. Apparently not. <laughs> Shame, it was somebody else, man. Okay. 
Okay, it seems like I've got them all. We've got to get the car fixed up first. Let's get in here. And there what it can is. the best mechanic in LS do for you? Fix my car. There you go. Nice. Nice. Whoa. Close call. Right. Oh, that's not where we want to be. One on one on one on. It's down here. Lock it in. There. That's it. So we got the getaway car delivered. Let's quickly. Let's just. Uh, so it's a quill raid in this time. And before we had the Ocelot, which was sort of similar, looked very similar to that. But uh, yeah, not a bad vehicle to escape escape in, you know. A perfectly sound getaway vehicle. I'd say so. Let's get. Let's get moving. I wanna. Yeah, let's just leave the area with this thing. Because that's going to just put us back in some other place again. Respawn us. There we go. So that's it. Alright, so the main prep's done. There's one more that we need to do, which is just to mess around with the with the enemy's uh, deliveries so that the mission is easier for us. And then it's the main mission. It's not bad going. Well, luckily it's not like just a 20 minute uh, heist mission that, we, that they've given us to do as, a, as an update. This should gives us a little bit of time. And I mean, yeah, we're going to still play this. So my next playthrough, I'm going to just play it again on like high and see what that's like. And then, yeah, then you give it a rest for a couple of weeks. Do some other ones that, you know, that's been launched long ago. Go and replay those. Do some other missions. Just play in the lobby with the other people. And just have some fun. And we, then we wait for either GTA 6 or the next DLC, eh? Huh? <laughs> that's, that's the story with us and playing GTA online. I have to say that the other day I decided that I'm going to play, well I started a brand new account, um, just because I wanted to just get back to what it was like to start playing the game from scratch again. And doing all that introduction missions and all of that, man that was fun eh, I mean even, even GTA itself, going back and doing the introduction, let's actually take a different road. It's for scenery sake just that beginning mission out of the bank um, with Trevor and Michael and whatnot that was fun hey eh? so, enjoyed it where the factory workers park and fortunately for us the garage seems to get completely ignored your getaway car will remain undisturbed until it's time for the raid school I like it Well, that was just freaking silly, wasn't it? How can you turn from the freaking left of the lane all the way across the lane to go right? You're bound to get squashed. Uh, sometimes the NPCs in this game can do the stupidest things. Right. Let us get back to our launch point so we can do the second last preparation mission. Let's go around this guy. And then uh, and then let's launch the main mission. 
which truly you're going to love it. It was it was a lot of fun, I have to say. I mean, the area that you've played in Cluck and Bell, when you when you've played uh, free mode missions with the Cluck and Bell, um, you know you, you know the the layout of where you're going to play, and you're just playing it from the outside in now, not from you don't go in, you go in at the back and play back to the front. Um, there's new areas inside that I did not know existed, but which is cool. Uh, but yeah, the, the fight itself is, is pretty damn awesome. If it doesn't glitch out and give you freaking ghost fighters that just appear out of nowhere. That what happened last night, that wasn't fun. Guy kept shooting me in the back and almost killed me, man. Almost there, guys. Thanks for sitting with me. Oh, you know what? I need to stop that. <laughs> I don't even know if it's actually music. It's just lots of sound. Keep forgetting about the the music playing in the background and YouTube's. Uh, silly rules about music and I suppose it's not silly I mean people that produce the music need to make money and if we are just playing it all for free and they get no royalties out of it then yeah I suppose it's taking money from their pockets not like most of them are super rich but the ones that's making it a uh, not like they're gonna struggle if we freaking take 30 cents from them, you know. But then, that's a business, I suppose. Man, that was freaking rookie mistake. Okay. Right. We're here, guys. We're here. Let's do this semi-final mission quickly. Okay, so this is going to be just to make them a little bit less efficient. Let's do that one. Let's do this one. Let's confirm it in and let's go. Moving. Hack the vans and locate the garage. You've got the location and maybe a uniform. You can hit that place up, wreck their fleet, and grab a key card. You'll need it for factory access. Let's do a bit of ballerina for you then. Go, boys, go, go. Do not turn in front of me, please. I'm asking you so nice. The NPCs just play their part. We can freaking drive a car like we know what we're doing. Let's quickly see. My car. That's why I like the tracks. Yeah, we're gonna take out the guys. Yeah. We'll take out these guys. Pretty freaking. Get 
better. There we go. Once some storms bullet through the window, eh? As far as they know, this is just some day to day bullshit. Okay, where are we going? We are going to the if cartel's you know, garage. Yeah, so you're gonna try and keep the peace as much as you can until they start attacking you. Which is most of the time what we do. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't mind, I don't mind the actual fight. I mean, I'll do, I'll do stealth missions where I'm gonna try and not be seen much later. Like by the fourth or fifth playthrough I'll try tricks like that where you go and play it through with just a normal handgun or just a, a you know AP pistol or something like that um, but for now question can you stealth this operation if so we can hit the factory without them suspecting a thing just disable the vehicles find a key card and wipe the CCTV when you're done on the other hand, you can go in guns blazing. You'll be blowing your cover for the final raid, but if that's how you want to do it, go ahead. Even in that getup, they'll still lose their cool if you're spotted wandering into the more sensitive parts of the building. Okay, fair enough. Now, I must say, I went in stealth the last time as well, but... Um eventually I was not successful sucks man oh that did not happen last night <laughs> I got that freaking smoothed out last night because kids are going, but I, I'll freaking very happily go to war with you guys, so I really don't mind. You don't know what? Die already. Yeah, that's how I feel. No! I did not want to do that. These guys die already, man. I think there's nothing here. Yeah, nothing. Ah, uh, yeah, now I remember. That's how I got freaking caught out the last time. With the drilling. I got the vehicle sabotaged when I was doing this. Yeah, look at the left hand bottom, what your noise level is like. How oh, the heck are they not going to hear you? So yeah, there is, there is. Okay, you gotta get 
out now. With the factory suspicions raised, time is indispensable. Okay, hold on, hold on. There's still some goodies to grab from these guys. Keep it chill. As a matter of fact, it was this one that I was drilling that got the security guards all excited. Nice. Yes. some goodies I'd like to see how much it is at the end of the day it's all of this all right so there's no one here let's drill away Nix. Bit of a there we go. That's uh, I mean what I was going to say is at least then when you do a stealth mission, this one will definitely prove to be a, a bit more of a challenge. Because really you're gonna have to I don't know, take out the guards in that in that alley outside because they are going to for sure well here. So you'll have to take them out first in order to make sure that uh, they don't see or don't, they don't hear your drilling. Jeez, all of that mission for Nux. Guys suck. All right. Okay, so we got that done. Let's get ourselves out of here. Yeah, there's a bit of coin. Nice. Hey, whole five dollars, man. Whoa. <laughs> There she is. The cartel's radar now, so we gotta strike and strike hard. I'll be in touch, so be ready. Don't stress, buddy. We'll get them down. So there's missions there that I actually didn't do, so I suppose... Yeah, the next time I do it I'll have to go and check that out because I did not do the CCTV, camera footage, all of that. Um, apparently there's still some witnesses around. Hmm. That's interesting. So because I've missed those, now I'm looking forward to going to play the next round, you see, because now I know there's something that I need to do. And I think, yeah, maybe the next one I'll try and do a stealth mission altogether and see how far I get without getting noticed. And see what the actual playthrough will be, you know, as a stealth game without these freaking millions of guarded vehicles attacking you, you know be interesting because they're quite just it's quite a lot of them going going at you right let's see if we can escape these guys quickly uh, 
don't know if they're going to actually follow me in here. Here I am. Come on, come on. You can do it. Bang. Right, so I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Four and a half thousand dollar mission. Stingy, man. Stingy. Jeez. I mean, if you want to make money in GTA, still the best money-making heist is Gaia Perico. And this is not m many of them that you can, well, I mean, like the casino heist, you can't do solo, you can't do uh, the, in the bunker you can do yourself. But uh, you can't, I mean, you, to do a full bunker by yourself is almost impossible, depending on what missions they give you. Um, if they do drop-offs, to do four vehicles drop-offs in the time they give you, that's, no, that's not, that's not possible. Where are we hanging out? Uh, now, the motorcycle club, that to me is just, yeah, I hardly ever play that, honestly. A nice money maker for me is if you've got a fully kitted out um that's done I forgot to put off the radio but once that's done that's also to like I said to 2.6 mil which is good money what's the other one the, the facility yeah you got you can't that as well it's not a solo you can do the setup solo but I mean they don't want you to do the actual facility um, final mission can't do that solo so that's a bit of a bummer um, but yeah I mean Kai Perico in my opinion that's still that's still the money maker if, if you want to just grind that as often as you can you can then you can make your money out of that one So yeah, for me, my, my money making, the three that I use to make money in GTA is the bunker, um, then the nightclub, and Kaya Perico. So I'll do Kaya Perico, go to the bunker, see that, um, I've got that truck in there, what you call it, that you can go and sell to ammunition. Excellent. Man. 
it. Where is it? Uh, stop freaking shouting at me, you idiot. <laughs> right, let's see where's this power box. There she is. That one closed for now. I just wanna take care of these guys. Yeah, can you see? I mean, this is the end of the of the mission when you do the the free mode mission in, in GTA Online. So, but yeah, so that door's always closed. At least it gives you access to to that. So, yes. So we've got ammo replenishment, we've got armor replenishment or something like that. Where is this guy? Let's pick up some dollars. Okay, so that is where you store your Miss grenades. Okay. Don't know is the looks like there's no one there. That's the guy I'm worried about. As soon as I go around that corner he's there to kick my ass. Alright, let's go, let's go. It's quite a nice gun, this. Right, so there was nothing. Oops. He is probably here behind this box, eh? Yeah. Some more dollars here. Yeah, if someone want to just come out like that. That's not the way to do it, friend. Where did you come from? Okay, now I need to get in here. Right, so now this is one of the cocaine storages. Make it hurt. Clear out their whole supply. Well, they are red dot people, so let's kick their butts. Alright, so we're gathering some cocaine here. Load them up, load them up. Cool. Next one, load them up. Load them up. So this will obviously go fast if you play this with a friend. This is quite a bit of a 
stash to pick up here. There is another cocaine storage facility in this as well. I'm just wondering whether it's ahead or back. I think it's still still coming. We'll see now. Let's just finish this one. Right. Loot it. Let's exit. Right, so we gotta go through here. Who's shooting me? Who is... There you go. That guy is annoying. Now you trying to shoot me, dude. Not cool. Oh, here's another one. Do I dare? <laughs> yeah, I like I, I like the action, man. So I I really don't mind getting into some shooting matches. Did yeah, die already? Right, so we gotta go, uh, we need equipment, okay, what do we need, where is it, there it is, there it is, some crowbar, let's see, let's catch some cocaine. there we go, alright, here's another one, our loot's almost full, it can't be too much damn empty box empty crate that is next one there's no center crate there was a center crate last night please don't freaking mess me up come on let that be the bulk of it nice nice Okay, I'm coming for ya. Just freaking appear like that from the back, man. That really bugs me when they do that. This place is barely functioning as a chicken factory. I'm assuming they have more cook and bell staff to keep up appearances. We're underestimating just how old criminals can be once they have the police in their pocket. I just want to get rid of this guy. I'm just worried. No keys, no keys. No 
we're gonna search for the Easter keys. Cut keys. Office. Right. Establish a computer. connection to the computer first. Okay, to retrieve the safe code from the computer, you'll need to secure multiple signals for the hacking device. Lucky for you, I read the instructions. It should turn blue when you point it towards one of the right spots. Red. Opposite. Just go straight and you'll catch a connection. Then find the next one. Where is this guy? Right, so the hacking device. So you've just got to follow where the, where the signal leads you. Uh, it tells you where that thing is. Now I know where the everything is because of playing last night. So I'll just go and show you. I'm just concerned about these guys that just appear like this. Right, so the first one, it seems, you see there he is again. There's Possibly behind that crate, I think. Let's go see. That idiot. So there's one. Computers, then find the other connections and retrieve the rest of the code. That's one. So the next one. It's gonna be see this guy is just he just freaking appears. Is it this one or is it the one inside there? Seems like it's, it's back here. So that's the one. That must be this one, eh? Hey? Yeah, I'm not aware of you now, dude. Okay, so now okay, let's go to the office. Have you received the safe code? Guys, yeah, so beware of that spawning freaking fairy there. Eh? That's very uncool. Alright, so what is the safe code? Forty one sixty nine fifty one. What was that? Four one six nine five nine. 
many did I got? Four, one, six, nine. That is. Forty-one. Sixty-nine, fifty-nine. Age. The bitch. Fifty-nine. That's so sad. <laughs> well no, not really, dude. It's okay, not so well. <laughs> Things are accelerating rapidly down there. So ready your fire arm and move out. Okay, they're mobilizing on the comms. Sounds like they're about to shut down any nearby roads. But as usual, they're one step ahead. Your getaway car is stored just beyond their reach. The fastest means of escape is still a getaway vehicle that you stashed in the garage. Let's go, let's go. Move through here. Anybody here? There's a dude there. There's another one there. Come show yourself, show yourself. There you go. I've got a helicopter on my back, man. I need to get in here. Yo! Yo! Hello, baby. Let's get moving. We are airborne and in route. Let's get moving. Let's get moving. Alright, so I will show you the easy escape route. Make sure there's no one in your rear view before you go to the locker. And go, get in the car, go on the railway tracks, and just keep riding them all the way through. Right, so that's the one way to just do it and not have any any problems. Me, I don't want to do this because it's not that much fun because nothing happens, literally. Um, the only thing that happens is the helicopter flies behind you. So there's more action going this way. And I think that makes for better video, video content. <laughs> Than the easy way but yeah I mean if you want to go that easy route just take that railway and just keep driving on it they don't they they don't come that route they don't catch you there and you just keep going man Adamant, eh? Just let's see if we can fit through the trees. Come on, follow me. Where are you? Don't go reversing out now. Where's this freaking helicopter there? Here he comes. Yeah? See, we're fighting back, buddy. We really need to get back in here, so let's just take a, a moment. There we go. Let's drive. Wow, well, what a nice sunset. That looks beautiful. Nice job there, GTA AI. Nice job. Whoops. Alright. Gotcha. Right, and that's the, the main mission, guys. That's, that's pretty much 
the Cluck and Bell mission. I mean, your drive all the way back is full of fun. Uh, I mean, these guys are not giving up. It'll take you all the way back to uh, Vincent's lockup, which is really fun. And when you can engage with them, you can just leave it. That is your choice. Exactly. Yeah, we close. We almost there. It seems like the click and bell security forces have gone. Now we're dealing with the cops. And they don't seem too interested in this. I mean, what's this guy gonna do? Is he gonna turn around? Is he gonna carry on driving? Which way are you going? Yeah. Yeah, he's turning around. Here we go. That, con that confused him. Cool. Right, let's get going. Oh, this car, wow. It's, it's, turning is not that good, eh? It doesn't give you a bit of a drift either, which is not so cool. I mean, this is much, much, much more fun than drifting around in a car go bob and uh, yeah the other guy's cars it's not it's i mean it's muscle cars so it's not bad it's fun to play around with them. i just find the handling in those cars are not as i mean the handling in this car is terrible but the handling in those cars it's worse um especially if you're trying to freaking outrun cops and bad guys and whatnot. I gotta admit, quite apart from this being a matter of principle, our whole operation has livened up my day-to-day -day considerably. Makes a pleasant change from people holding up 24-7 stores. Dude, stop banging into everything. And there it is. Clock and bell. Me, I've stopped going to Cluck and Bell after these raids. Just doesn't taste the same. But what they don't show you is Vincent's new police police car. That's any show, so 500,000 rand for the whole, whole mission. Eh, I suppose it's money, you know. It's not the best money making for the time that you spend on it. Um, but it's fun. Uh, it's a nice playthrough. I think you can do that two or three times. Try and do a stealth one, try and play it on hard. Um, yeah, at the end of the day, it's another. it's just another update. So months from now can load it up again and play it play it again and i think it will be just as much fun as as it was right now so on 500,000 i don't know how long we've been busy but yeah i think i think it's a it's a very long mission for the payout that you that you get from it uh, come on load us back into the lobby the gta don't, don't, don't leave us on the black screen, please, please. Yeah, the, the new police cars, I don't know if that's going to be the police cars that's going to be driven in GTA 6, but if it is, man, 
Those are, those are really cool police cars. What the heck is happening in GTA yet? Oh man, there's gotta be a way to get paid to smoke weed. It's all good. Okay, well there's some function going on here. Anyway guys, that's it. I just wanted to share that uh, the new the new update DLC playthrough. Uh, the Vincent mission with the cluck and bell. Look, I hope you enjoyed it. Let's just hear what he's got to say. We've successfully concluded our business at the Cluck and Bell factory. The fruits of your labor should already be in your account. Let's make a habit of this. Effenberger out. Yeah, so it was a fun playthrough. I hope you enjoyed the the mission with me. Yeah, go give it a bash. It's a lot of fun, man. If you if you haven't done GTA Online. And definitely give it a give it a shot. I think you'll you'll really love it. You might even get a hook like I am. So there we go, guys. Uh, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. If you want to see more GTA content like this, let me know. Um, and that's it. Have a good one. That's me out.